You may be thinking, wow, Corey's mom was right. He is being overly dramatic. But just because I have an infinite black background doesn't mean I'm trying to be overly dramatic. It could mean that I just want sole focus on the subject, which is me. Now you may be thinking, how do I achieve a look like this? Well, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna be in a room with no exterior lights. You don't want any window lighting, you wanna be able to control all lighting as possible. Once you get that room, there's now two kind of ways you can go about this. Either one, you don't have a backdrop, or two, you do have a backdrop. So if you don't have a backdrop, you want yourself as far removed from the background as possible. You want as much distance so that way as little light falls into the background. You also want to remove anything reflective such as picture frames, anything light in color that can help bounce the light because that will help just break the illusion. Now if you do have a backdrop or at least you want to go get a backdrop which you can get at like Amazon, B&H or you can even go to Walmart to get a black bed sheet. Now ideally you'd want a flat bed sheet the reason why is because once you get your backdrop, at least get ready to set up, you'll want it as smooth as possible. And the reason why is because any folds or creases will get lit differently and some will be brighter than others. And that could help break that illusion. Once you get that, you'll want to set up your key light. Now, depending on the dramatics you're looking for, if you want it to be a more dramatic look, you may push for more shadows. If you're looking for more that you're just teaching more education, you want more flat lighting, then you may put it more in front of the subject. So depending on what you want. Now, personally for me right now, I'm using my Aperture 300D with a light dome and an egg crate. You may be thinking, what does an egg crate do? It does two things. One, it helps with the throw of light to put less light on the background. The light travels less distance. And two, it holds eggs. I'm gonna be a dad. I gotta make these jokes, okay? It's a legal obligation at this point. Betray the law! So once you get that set up, and you don't need the big giant dome or the egg crate or anything like that. In general, I said any light can work. You just want to probably play with it, look at your screen to double check to make sure that it is as dark as possible. Again, depending on the dramatics maybe you're looking for, you will want to get a hair light. Now what this does is it helps separate the subject from the background. So that way I'm not falling into the abyss. So now you can use these tips to put yourself in the infinite abyss that I have found myself in. Good luck finding yourself home. But if you do have any questions, I mean, leave a comment down below. I'm always here to help. See ya.